Hey fellow content creators, welcome back to channel. Today we're diving into the future of videography as we explore the best video cameras of 2024. If you're passionate about creating stunning visuals, you're in the right place. Number 5. DJI Pocket 2 The DJI Pocket 2 is the only one on this list. This pocket-sized camera includes a 3-axis stabilized gimbal to assure smooth footage, while the video quality and low-light capability cannot compete with any of the larger sensor solutions mentioned above, the Pocket 2 may be a strong all-in-one tool in the hands of any content creator. The gimbal makes recording exceptionally smooth handheld footage a breeze and it boasts a slow-motion capture mode that allows you to shoot at up to 240 eps in 1080p. The camera also features an active track feature that follows a person or item automatically, which you may utilize to get creative while filming products or action footage. If you want to save money, go for a genuine DJI Osmo Pocket. However, the Pocket 2's bigger sensor provides it an advantage in low light. Overall, it's an excellent pick for people looking for a pocket camera that can shoot stabilized handheld video. Number 4 GoPro Hero 10 Black If you don't mind sacrificing video quality, GoPro is your best bet for a low-cost YouTube video setup. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is one of the most affordable alternatives available. Though it has been superseded by the GoPro Hero 11 Black, which features a new 8-7 to sensor intended more for social media platforms such as TikTok and Instagram, the Hero 10 is still a powerful action camera that can accomplish most of the same things as its successor at a lower price. You can watch yourself while recording thanks to a useful front-facing screen, making this a terrific option for action videos and traditional walk-and-talk type vlogs. GoPro's hyper-smooth stabilization is the best in its class, ensuring smooth footage. With 5 cup to 60 eps and 4 cup to 120 eps, the camera provides more frame rate and resolution options than you'll need. If the price is still a touch too high, an older GoPro model, such as the GoPro Hero 9 Black, is a good, less expensive alternative. However, it has fewer frame rate possibilities and performs slightly poorer in low light. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is an action camera with a lot of features. Because of its faster overall performance, it's effectively an enhanced version of the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Unlike its predecessor, it can record 4K video at up to 120 eps without cropping, making it ideal for filming fluid action video or creating high-quality slow-motion recordings. It does an excellent job of smoothing out camera shake, which is useful for users who like to film without a gimbal. Unfortunately, it has a rather narrow range of exposure changes and can overheat while recording for long periods of time. The GoPro Hero 10 is an excellent action video camera. It has a high-grade plastic body that is marketed as being waterproof to a depth of 33 feet. It's small and designed to attach to a wide range of devices, from chests and helmet rigs to sports automobiles and aircraft. It provides excellent overall video stabilization capabilities, which is useful if you intend to film without a gimbal. Its horizon leveling feature also aids in maintaining video stability when tilting the camera from side to side. It can record fork video at up to 120 frames per second, which is ideal for shooting high-quality slow-motion film or highly smooth action video. The GoPro Hero 10 is an excellent choice for vlogging. Its lightweight, compact design makes it convenient to transport for a full day of use. Its secondary front-facing display enables you to keep an eye on yourself even when the camera is pointing at you. It also does a fantastic job of smoothing out camera shake while filming handheld, albeit its digital stabilization capability does result in a 1.36x crop when used. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is mediocre for studio video, despite the fact that it isn't meant for it. Overall, video quality is adequate, albeit some noise is present while shooting in low-light conditions and object outlines and surfaces may be sharper represented. However, it can record video in 5.3k, 4, 2.7k, and FHD levels, providing you a wide range of options. It can, however, disrupt your recording by overheating during extended recording sessions. It features a rather limited number of inputs and outputs for various videography gear, but a media mod kit with additional ports is available from the manufacturer. Number 3 Sony A6700 If the Sony ZV-E1 sounds like overkill, the Sony 6700 will suffice. Though it lacks the Sony ZV-E1's excellent low-light capability, it's a really capable camera for its price. Internal 10-bit 4-2-2 recording allows you to capture higher quality video, giving you greater freedom to edit and color grade your film. It's also one of the few cameras in its class that can record and fork at up to 120 frames per second, albeit with a substantial reduction. It also has in-body image stabilization for smoother handheld shooting, no recording duration limits, and the same outstanding eye-driven autofocus as the ZV-E1. 
While the 6700 is the best camera for YouTube videos at this price point, the Fujifilm XS20 should not be overlooked. In contrast to the 6700 it can record 6.2 per video at full quality and allows raw video output to a compatible external recorder. However, its AF is less dependable and there are fewer frame rate possibilities. The Sonya 6700 is an excellent choice for trip photography. It's reasonably small and portable with outstanding ergonomics and a long battery life. It's also a really well-made camera, having a weather-sealed body to keep out factors like rain and dust. The image quality from its APS-C sensor is superb, and the camera boasts an excellent image stabilization mechanism that allows you to shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds. It also features an excellent autofocus system that tracks moving targets quite effectively, even in busy environments. However, its viewfinder isn't the most user-friendly. The Sonya 6700 is an excellent landscape camera. Its APS-C sensor captures great overall image quality, and there are a plethora of native and third-party lens options for Sony's E-mount. The camera is extremely lightweight, so it won't tire you out over long days on the road, and it has a long battery life. It's also well-made and weather-sealed with a convenient SD card slot for those who prefer to shoot with a tripod. The Sonya 6700 is ideal for wildlife and sports photography. Despite not having the fastest shooting speed on the market, it can nevertheless shoot at a high maximum burst rate. It also includes an excellent autofocus system, as well as a very dependable ad-driven subject tracking capability that allows you to track certain subjects such as birds or animals and recognize different areas of the body. It also captures high-quality images. However, its viewfinder isn't particularly comfortable to use. The Sonya 6700 isn't built for POV-style action video, but it's great for capturing action from the sidelines. It's portable, but it's not intended for action video mounting. On the plus side, it provides a plethora of high frame rate settings in both 4K and 1080p, as well as a dedicated slow and quick mode for in-camera slow motion capture. Number 2 Fujifilm XS10 The Fujifilm XS10 is a crop sensor mirrorless camera. It produces excellent image quality and shoots reasonably sharp detailed video in both 4K and FHD resolutions. However, you may notice some noise while recording in low light conditions. Its in-body image stabilization feature also helps to smooth down camera shake in both still and video photography. It's easy to operate, feels well-made, and boasts a bright, sharp, fully articulated screen, as well as a plethora of connectors for connecting peripherals. While its video autofocus ability is excellent, it struggles to retain focus on things when used for still photography. The Fujifilm X-S10 is an excellent travel camera. It produces excellent image quality right out of the box with low noise even at somewhat high ISO levels. The Fujifilm simulation modes can help add flair to your images. However, we haven't tested the camera with these modes enabled yet, and you can only use them on JPE files. It has a very wide shutter speed range, allowing you to capture both fast moments and complicated long exposure images. It's also generally comfy to use and appears to be well made. Unfortunately, depending on your shooting habits and settings, its single charge battery life may not be enough for a full day of shooting. The Fujifilm X-S10 is an excellent choice for landscape photography. Overall, image quality is outstanding with superb noise handling even at higher ISO levels, which is useful if you plan to photograph in low-light situations. The built-in Fujifilm simulation modes also give your images a distinct style. However, you can only apply them to JP files, and we haven't tested the camera with these modes yet. Its fully articulated touchscreen allows you to shoot from above or below your hip, and it is bright enough to be viewed even in direct sunshine. Number 1 Sony ZV-E1 the Sony ZV-1 is the first full-frame vlogging camera and one of the top four cameras for YouTube on the market. It has a completely articulated screen that's perfect for self-recording, a built-in directional vlogging mic, and no viewfinder, just like the previous models in the ZV range. It's also one of the most compact full-frame cameras on the market, however, walk-and-talk vlogs will almost certainly require a tripod grip. With a full-frame sensor built for low-light shooting, this is an excellent choice if you frequently shoot in less regulated lighting circumstances. Auto framing in modes like intelligent auto and cinematic vlog help you acquire the appropriate appearance for your films without doing too much work. Simultaneously, a camera enables internal 10-bit 4 to 2 2 log recording, as well as fork at up to 120 eps, making it a fantastic choice for advanced filmmakers who want more control over the production process from shooting to uploading the finished output. When all is said and done, these features combine to make the best YouTube camera we've tested. The Sony ZV-E1 is the company's first full-frame interchangeable lens vlogging camera, replacing the Sony ZV-E10. It looks very much like a larger ZV-E10, 
with a fully articulated touchscreen, no viewfinder, and a stereo mic built into the top plate. With a touch of DNA from the compact Sony 7C, and it builds on the foundation the ZV E10 laid as a dedicated vlogging alternative to Sony's Alpha lineup. Guys, there concludes our top 5 best video cameras in 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.